Hi, and thanks for visiting Software for Schools. We're about to demonstrate how tardy tracking for schools can help your school to create an effective intervention program for student tardies. The unique features of our application will allow you to generate quick tardy passes by scanning student ID cards, assign student interventions, and track the completion of student interventions. Let's take a look. There are just a few steps needed in setting up your tardy tracking software. After installing the application, you will need to upload a list of your student body. For this, you will just need a CSV file with your student's last name, first name, ID number, and grade level. As an option, you also have the ability to upload student pictures, which becomes very useful to help identify students who do not have their ID card. Another option available is to upload student phone numbers, which can be used to generate a report for Teleparent if your school uses that service. The only other thing you will need to set up prior to using the application is to design your intervention table. Here you can determine what interventions will be taken when a student reaches the specific number of tardies. In this example seen here, a student gets their first and second tardies will receive a warning. However, when that student gets to tardy number three, they will receive a detention. They will then continue to receive detentions until they have reached the next level, in this example, 10 tardies, which equals an on-campus suspension. After your setup has been completed, you can start using the application to track student tardies. At the start of the day, you will click Add Event. All of your defaults have been set up for you, and you can typically just click Save and Exit. The process of scanning a student in is very simple and straightforward. Using a barcode scanner, just scan the student ID card. If you are using a receipt printer, which we do recommend, a timed stamped tardy pass will be printed for the student. When the student is scanned in, a message will be displayed on the screen that indicates the total number of tardies the student has and the intervention level they are at. This same information will also be printed on their tardy pass. To track detentions with our application, you would simply create a new event using the event type number 2, Record Detentions. Just like scanning a student in for a tardy, you would scan them into a detention. When the student leaves, you can also scan them out of a detention to document the time period they were under your supervision. There are many different types of reports to choose from. Single day reports can be sorted by name, grade level, and period. Call slips can also be generated for those students who receive a detention for that day. A CSV file can be generated, formatted for Teleparent, so you can inform parents of their child's tardiness. Finally, multi day reports are used to calculate the total number of tardies and detentions for a student over an extended period of time. To keep this video short, we did not have time to show you all of the features available in this application, but feel free to download a demo copy of our software or contact us if you have any further questions.